I have a new SSD in for testing today. It's the Adata SU800 model. This particular one has some interesting features compared to other SSDs. You'll see the specs on the screen that I just put up there. Standard package with this, but you do get a spacer and there's a warranty and service guide too. Now, one of the more interesting features with this drive is the implementation of 3D NAND technology. This should hopefully give higher endurance. You'll see that on the front of the cover there. Looking at the side, you'll see a few more features. This has the DRAM cache buffer, SLC caching, and a free download for cloning the disk onto the new SSD. On the back section, you'll get a QR code which takes you to the website, and it just lists out a few more features of the drive. Um, check those out they're actually quite useful some of them if you don't have any software you get the free migration tool as well as some other utilities to check on the status of the drive looking at the top cover this is plastic with the um, makers label on top but if you flip it over the chassis is actually metal so you won't have any issues with endurance screwing into the case it's not something which bothers me at this price point the drive is going to be sitting inside the computer. I'm more interested in the performance and the endurance of the solid state drive. This is the uh, two millimeter adapter that you get. You can stick that on and it increases the size from seven to nine millimeter. So potentially of some use for laptops. Just showing you the edges and side of the drive now. The two screws on either side and as you'd expect the standard SATA connectors for power and data. Do note on the other side there is a warranty label so don't fiddle around with that. What I'm going to do now is clone um, using a dock rather than the software so I'm cloning from a solid state drive to the new Adata drive. You can use software or something like this it doesn't really matter and that's just completed now so we're going to fit the drive to the computer and we'll run a few tests and see how the drive stacks up. First thing to note is the formatted capacity is 238 gigabytes on a Windows 10 computer. This is an information tool just to give you some more details. On the drive you'll see a silicon motion controller, the 3D NAND. doesn't say who makes the actual chips. Uh, I believe it's Micron from the information that I've had. This is a look at some of the software that you get. This is the SSD toolbox, which gives you some diagnostics and drive information. Worth downloading that to have a look and to keep on the system. You don't have to use it, but it's optional. And a quick look at some of the utilities available on the website. So go over there and check those out if you want to. They're quite useful, some of them. Wrapping up with a quick summary and conclusion on the drive, and I've put a benchmark up on the screen for you. Very good performance, and that was mirrored in real-world use as well, not just the benchmarks, very quick boot up. Uh, the main appeal with the drive to me would be the high endurance rating. This offers approximately double the uh, Evo 750, which is very similar in price to this. So uh, the 3D NAND technology hopefully should ensure a longer lasting drive. So that would be a significant advantage to me when looking for a solid state drive in this price range.